this video I'm going to show you how loops and arrays kind of work together here. In the last video I created an array and I actually listed all five of those elements here by writing the same thing over and over again but just changing the number within the actual element itself. And so on the design side of it all I have is a list box and I have a button but here on the code view I've got it displayed here so all five of these are displayed starting with our placeholder zero. I'm going to rewrite this code. I want it to do the exact same thing. So if I run my application right now, it'll go ahead and just display all of those elements of my array. Now I'm going to rewrite that to make it a little easier. I'm only working with only five of these here, but if I were working with like a thousand or you know even a hundred or even more, this may just become repetitive and copying and pasting you may have errors and there's an easier way to do this. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, these and I'm going to go ahead and just copy this line of code. I want to use that line of code again, but it's just going to modify it. So I'm just going to do a control. I'm actually going to cut it. I'm going to do control X there to cut it out of there. And we're going to go ahead and create our loop. And I prefer to use the for loop. So I'm going to use the keyword for. And I'm going to use the parenthesis here. Now to start this off, I'm going to create my control variable, which is going to be, I'm just going to create an integer. And I'm going to set it, I'm going to call it X. And I'm going to set it equal to zero. And the reason why I'm using zero is because zero is my first placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. I'm going to use a semicolon for this one. I'm going to go ahead and say as long as x is smaller than, so I'm going to go ahead and use the less than symbol. Now I've got to be able to find a way to make it so that it only runs until it, it uses all of these up because this can change. I could have 10 here. I can have 20. So this number can change. And we've got this nice little handy property to work with here. It's actually going to be, I'm going to go ahead and type in my uh, str sizes and I'm going to go ahead and say dot length and so we're gonna, this is great because this is going to return back however many arrays that I have and as long as x is smaller than that number so this is actually going to return back five because I've got five created as long as x is smaller than that which you can see we've got spot zero one two three and four then it's going to be true for this loop and so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there put the semicolon and so that was my condition to test to see if it's true for this loop to run and then I'm going to go ahead and increment x by 1 I'm just going to go ahead and say x plus plus that increments it by 1 I'll end this loop with the parenthesis and I'm going to go ahead and now hit enter I'm going to use my opening curly brace I'll hit enter and my co closing curly brace I'll put a space in here for my loop here to run so now what I want to do is actually I'm going to paste in here within my loop that line of code that I cut which says the list uh, for my list box, list output, uh, lst output dot items dot add. I had str sizes, and now this was this first spot holder. If I replace that with an x, uh, which is what I've got right here, the first time this loop runs, x is going to be zero, which means it's going to go ahead and display spot zero, which happens to be extra small. It'll go ahead and run the loop again, increment it by one, so x will now be one, which means the next time it runs, it'll be one, then two, and then three, and then four. And then when x becomes 5, it will not run the loop because it actually, this that will be the last time to run the loop because x will no longer be smaller than its length, which is of 5 elements. And so if I go ahead and run my application now, we'll show, show, show how this works. If I hit the OK button, it displays all of those, all 5 of those, starting at spot 0, going to placeholder 4, which happens to be extra large. And so this is the whole using loops with arrays. There are many different applications of using this uh, loop idea or loop concept with your array. It just kind of lends itself to being a great option just because of the fact that the arrays increment by one. We can create a loop that increments by one. And so they kind of work hand in hand here. And this concludes the video on using a loop within an array.